I want this pie. I want to still go to the barbecue, though. Remember that. All right, here's for the sure. flop. And look at this. Huge there for Lavalie. Three of a kind. Check. Now, Freddy's flopped a pair also. Name of the Festa Al Lago at Bellagio about to get underway. We started four days ago with 275 players. We are down to these six. The winner tonight is going to take home over $1.2 million. That's right. And as you can see, Freddie Dean out in front. He's the chip leader at this point. The Annie's of 5,000. Blinds of 40 and 80,000. Let's go to the table. Action on Tommy Vitas. He is from Queens, New York, living in Vegas now. Full-time professional poker player. And he quickly folds his hand. Around to the youngster, Jason Lavalie. He goes out. Craig Cravilla also out. And now Freddie Deeb, the chip leader. He looks down at a pair of fives. And by the way, it was confirmed that Freddie and actor Danny DeVito were separated at birth. <laughs> we thought it was just a rumor before, but it's true. Well, Freddie's got two fives here. He's an aggressive player. Going to raise on the button. Makes it 250000 to go. Yes, he does. Into the young 22-year-old Jason Burt from yeah. Newport Beach, California. And he's got ace eight. Here's a graduate of Caltech, majored in mechanical engineering, now a full-time poker player. He's the short stack, and this is his first WPT event, Mike. I'm all in. And look at this. He says all in. Wow, what a bold play by the youngster here on deal number one at this final table. All right, next to act, Sean Kunix. He's an entrepreneur out of Columbus, Ohio. He folds his hand. And he's sending a message to Freddie. You may be a two-time WPT champ, but I'm here now, my friend. And yeah, back around to Freddie. What a decision on hand number one. Best Freddie knows it in a race situation, meaning his opponent's got two overcards. But in case his opponent has an overpair, Freddie would be a huge underdog here. So he's going to lay it down, but chalk that up to the aggressive play of Jason Burt. Well done there. He understands Freddie's an aggressive player. He's the chip leader, probably making a position raise on the button. Just moved in and picked up that pot beautifully. Very nicely done. 22 years old, Jason Burt taking hand one. Let's go to hand two. Craig Cravillo, a former iron worker out of Milwaukee. Pretty good hand. And he's going to fold his hand. Back around to Freddie Deeb. Oh, look at this, Vince. Freddie has picked oh. up two queens. He just got burned with two fives when the guy came over the top. He's looking for somebody to come over the top of him here, I promise you. Comes in for 255000 Jason Burt folding. But Sean Kunix, he's got a pair of eights. Sean, the only non-professional poker player at the table. He's an entrepreneur. Lives in Columbus, Ohio, an Ohio State Buckeye, I might add. There's his wife, Chris, sweating her man. Sean has three kids. Not a professional player, but he's going to make a professional call right there. Made the call with two eights here. Tommy goes out. Jason Lavallee from Montreal also going out. Freddie Deeb in great shape here with the overpair. Two queens versus two eights. Here comes the flop. Let's come king 10 four. You're always leery when overcards come out there over your pair. Yeah, Freddie checks. He said, why did that have to happen? Now look at that little ornament on the cards there. Well, Vince, that's a soccer figurine that was on his son's birthday cake. He wants to prove to his son that you can do anything if you try. He said he could be on television playing poker. Here he is. Let's see if he can win this thing. Well, look at this. He's bet 350000 and Freddie's not folding. Freddie's made the call with the two queens. Now six comes off. No help to either player. Freddie again going to check. He's just worried that Sean might have the overpair as a king. It's a good poker face by the non-professional player. Wow, and he fires again, this time 600,000. Boldly bet. Look at Freddy. Patient says I call. I'll tell you, it's not that easy of a call to make against an amateur no. player who fires twice when there's a king out there. Oh. Now an ace comes off. Neither player going to like that card. Let's see what Freddy's going to do now. Well, he's going to check again. Sean checks right Good behind please. him. So the two-time WPT champ is going to win this pot with two queens. Oh, boy. Look at that look by Chris, Sean's wife. Freddie Deeb playing patiently there. Takes down a nice pot. Extends his chip lead. Look at that, You'll see it on TV. Now we are just getting started here at the Festa El Lago. Things are heating up. The WPT Global Winter Festival is back. Over 180 events and over 4 million in guarantees. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below, sign up with bonus code YT19, and receive your welcome package.
with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. Sort of a poor man's George Clooney, if you ask me. <laughs> he used to be an iron worker out of Milwaukee, and he quickly folds his hand, as does Freddie Deeb. Well, the youngster, Jason Burt, now looks down at the five, six of clubs. He throws it away. Sean Kunick's the only amateur player at the table, so-called, goes out as well. And now Tommy Vitas from Queens, New York, with his ace three of diamonds. He's going to bump it up. Oh, three is. Jason Lavalie with jack ten of clubs. He's got those suited connectors you want to see flops with. Looks like he's contemplating whether he should call or raise here. Young kid, 23 years old, an online professional out of Montreal, is going to make the call. Here's Jason's friends. Comes a flop. Wow, what a flop for Jason. It's come queen 10-9 with two clubs. He's got a pair and an open in straight flush draw. And Tommy is reaching for chips. Remember, he's from Queens. He understands that usually the guy that gets the first blow in in the fight wins the fight. So he's going to try to get a blow in here with the continuation bet, but it's not going to work. He could get blown right out of this. <laughs> 440,000 he's bet into the kid. Come on. Jason Lavalli says all in. Well, you can't blame him, Vince. Everybody's going all in with that hand. It doesn't matter what your opponent That's has, you got to to win the pot when you flop an open in straight flush draw. So Tommy is just posturing here right now. Zero chance he's going to make this call. His buddy, Michael, the grinder, Ms. Rocky, watching him play here. The grinder, a two-time WPT champ himself. Right now, disappointed his buddy goes out, but He'd be grateful if he saw their hands. That is just too much heat by Jason Lavalie, online pro. You know what? If he they had to cast him in the movie, he could actually look like he's right straight from the farm. <laughs> Works the farm, has a little hay in his hair, if you ask me. Yeah, it looks like you could put him on the tractor there, Vince. He actually worked at McDonald's for three months. He so. did, didn't he? He said he made a million dollars last year playing poker, so looks like poker's a little better than flipping burgers. <laughs> All right, back down to the felt. Another young guy, Jason Burt out of Newport Beach, California, 22 years old. He quickly folds his hand. Sean Kunix also going away. Well, Tommy Vitas lays his hand down here. Back to Lavalie. And he's on the button. He looks down at King, Queen of Diamonds. Nice hand on the button. And quality hand. Looks around to see who he has to compete against. I actually like that. He looks at his opponents first before he makes the size of his bet. He just doubles the bet, makes the minimum raise up to 160,000. Craig Cravillo folding. So the only one to beat is Freddie Deep. Now he's in the big blind already. He's got a miserable looking 5-3. Well, Freddie's what we call a defender in the trade, meaning if he's got a blind out there, he likes to defend it, as you're seeing right here. Him and Gus yeah, Hansen are big defenders of the blind. Keep the pot to push him around. If I win this pot, I want to still go to the barbecue, though. Remember that. All right, here's for the sure. flop, and look at this huge there for Lavalie, three of a kind. Check. Now Freddie's flopped a pair also. Yeah. He's checked. Jason has bet 250,000. He sure has, but Freddie coming back over the top to make it 500,000, trying to find out where he is. I like this raise by Freddie Deeb. I say I like it because you can find out where you are. If your opponent had ace jack or ace 10, something like that, he's probably going to lay it down now when you raise him back. If the guy makes this call, Freddie can tread a little more lightly the rest of the way. And obviously, we know Jason's at least going to call, if not re raise, and he does make the call. How's that treading now, Mike? Well, let's see what happens. All right, going to the turn. And six of spade comes off. I guess says neither player is going to like this card. They'll be fearful their opponent check. made a flush. So Freddie's going to check. I would think Jason would be a little leery of that spade himself. Remember, Freddie check raised him on the flop, but these youngsters have no fear, Vince. Oh, that's not that's not <laughs> what they taught him at McDonald's. He's going to bet it. This looks like 650,000. Oh, 000. boy. No special for Freddie. 650,000 to him. How's that special sauce there for you, Freddie? <laughs> well, I think it's an easy getaway for Freddie now. Whatever his opponent had, whether he had a king in his hand, an overpair, two oh. spades, whatever he had, he's got Freddie beat now. Get out. No parting gifts for you, Freddie. He's got left. Oh, this is how much you got. He wants to talk a little bit. Well, Freddie does have a, a spade draw. He could win the pot if a spade came yeah. out. But 
Sounds about right. That would be a disaster for the tractor kid. <laughs> uh, I think Freddie's just posturing here. He's Likes to talk a lot at the table, likes to get his opponents to talk, and he does lay the hand down. So the youngster, Jason Lavallee, taking down another pot. I'm afraid he might have saved money by making that minimum raise on the flop, even though Thank you, it Pastor. seemed a little startling that he would raise Good when the guy king. had three kings, but he doesn't know he's got three kings. So if you raise it there, if the guy has nothing, maybe he's even got an overpair, he might get away from the hand and let you have it. All right, right back at him. Jason Lava lead now in second chip position with 3.3 million. Action goes right to him. Oh, and look at this, Vince. Oh, the kid not only plays good, he's a card rat. <laughs> Pair of aces. Unbelievable. He just fought three kings. Very next hand, he picks up two aces. All right, he's raised it to 205. Quick folds around to Jason Burt. Jason's got ace 10 here in a decision. Well, it is a big decision here. It's a pretty good hand. He knows the youngster raised under the gun, as we say, so usually you give a guy credit for a stronger hand here, but that's quite a lay down by Jason Burt there. Yeah, he's going to muck. Sean Kunick's also going away. So now Tommy Vitas in the big blind, already invested. Well, the raise was only to 205,000. So 355,000 in the pot, going to cost him 135,000 more to make the call. If he wants to gamble here. And he has done it. So two way action. You got 10 8 up against a pair of aces. The dramatic hand. Here comes the first three. Well, Tommy has flopped an open in straight draw as it comes Jack 9 6. Not too bad. He checks it. Seven or a queen would give him a straight. And what is the young man from Montreal going to do now? Got your aces. Only his second WPT tournament. And his second cash, of course, and he's going to bet it. Happy bets 280,000 and quickly called by Tommy. Tommy's going nowhere. And he's looking for a seven or a queen where his opponent will be drawn dead. Let's see if he can strike lucky right now. Well, a three nope. comes off. Well, Tommy checks again. If you're the youngster, in case your opponent's got some type of pair, whether it's jacks or eights or some type of straight draw. You don't want to give him a free card to make his hand, so Tommy would love a free card. But He's not going to get one, though, from this guy. No, no. 520,000. Tommy's thinking this guy's getting more annoying than Carrot Top. Well, Vince, look at the size of the bets this youngster is making. It's like he's reeling him in. He bet about half the size of the pot on the flop. He's bet about half the size of the pot here on the turn. And because of the size of that bet, it's enticing to want to call to try to hit that straight. The grinder there in the front row saying, get lucky, my friend. I have no idea what you have, but it's tough to watch in the audience. When uh -oh. You don't see the cards. Just sweating your friends, but he's going to call. Well, he's going to gamble here, Vance. He shooting. makes the call here. Yeah, he's shooting for the gold. Over two million in the pot now. Going down to the river. Can the guy from Queens get lucky? Nope. Now King of Diamonds comes off. On Tommy again. Well, make a play at this. That's all you can possibly do. No, he's checking. Well, the youngster thinking about betting his aces here, but I'm not crazy about a bet here. The only no. way you're going to get calls is if you're beat. Yeah, no percentage in that, but nevertheless, he has no fear. 850,000. Well, the value of betting is you don't have to show the two aces, Vince. That's true. So Tommy does muck his hand, yep. and the 23-year-old on the roll right now. Jason Lavalie got to be very happy. We're coming back in just a moment. There you see our chip leader, Jason Lavalie, has a slight chip lead over two-time WPT champ Freddie Deeb. Those are the percentages of chips that each player has, as you can see on that chart. Freddie Deeb going after his third WPT title. Will he get it here tonight? Let's go to the table. Action on Craig Cravillo. Out of Milwaukee. And this time, Craig has a pair of fives. Pretty good starting hand. I used to walk on those beams in the high-rise buildings they were building, Vince. So playing on the green felt's got to be easy for this guy. Well, it's before it became a stand-in for George Clooney. <laughs> but now he's going to raise with his hand 240000 
on Freddie Deeb. Uh, Freddie Deeb's got the ace four hearts. And he also has the shiniest head in America, I have to say. Well, when you have a suited ace and your name is Freddie Deeb, you're playing. Cool. Loves the action. He makes this call now. Young Jason Burt, just a 7-4. Mucks his hand. Around to Sean Kunix, the entrepreneur with two sixes on the button. Only amateur at the table, so-called amateur, I should say. And you don't mind playing middle and smallish pairs here because they're easy hands to play. You either hit a set on the flop or you get out if people start betting. I mean, now Tommy Vitas, he's got a decent king-queen. What players? We're seeing everyone jump in. He's called. Why wouldn't you call? There's 870,000 in the pot already, so he does make the call. And now Jason Lavalli, our chip leader with 9-7 of spades. Well, he's going to call too, Vince. We're going to have five-way action here. Get in the bathtub, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's a party. It is. Very rare on the WPT. Five-way action. Well, over 1.2 million in the pot right now, and we haven't even got to the flop. Oh, it's come king, queen, six. Whoa. Tommy Vitas has flopped the top two pair. Action is on him. Sean Kunix with a set of sixes. Tommy Vitas with his two pair quickly checks, as does Jason Lavalie and Craig Cravillo. Check. Freddie checks, round to the button, to the entrepreneur with three sixes. He is sitting pretty right now. Go Bucks. Gotta be exciting. What will he bet? Do it, Sean. 720,000. Sean, a graduate in marketing from Ohio State University, fires out 720,000. Well, then. Tommy Vitas has to go all in, he does. Well, you can't blame him for going all in. All that money out there, and you flop top two pair here. Lovely out, as is Craig Cravillo. Freddie Deeb also call. out. Now, Sean is not going out. He's anxious to call him, and is going to love it. As he yes. sees he's an 80% favorite to win this pot. He's got three sixes. His opponent's got the top two pair. And right now, things are good in Buckeye land. Yeah, this could break. Tommy Vitas, unless he gets extremely lucky. Tommy used to sell cars and was in construction. And right now, he is devastated when you have top two pair to be up against the set. What do you have, Jason? I had seven well, nice pairs. king or a queen. <laughs> I let down king queen. Oh, man. You did? Watch me win. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not that good. Needle in him saying, I folded a king and a queen. We know that didn't happen. And the king comes up. Oh. Tommy Venus has sucked out on the turn to make a bigger full house. Devastation for Sean Kunix from Columbus, Ohio. His wife shocked as well. Wow. It's not over, That's though. Sick. He could catch a six on the river and make four of a kind to win this pot. Sean Kunix. He folded a six. The hideous Did beat. I? Here we go to the river. Well, a five comes off. So tough luck for Sean Kunix, the entrepreneur from Columbus, Ohio. Took a horrible beat there. I still have some chips. <laughs> Sean's about the happiest loser I've ever seen. You want to count him down? For me. Okay, six players remaining. Coming back with more action. Stay with us here on the World Poker Tour. Wow, that was sick. Like you said, Mike, he's the happiest loser you've ever seen at a poker table. <laughs> it's, he kept smiling, has a lot of class, but he's done quite well. He's an entrepreneur, but right now he's down on the short stack here tonight with a very bad beat. Well, we're both Buckeyes, and he told me the only time he doesn't smile is when Michigan beats Ohio State. All right, to the table we go. Freddie Deeb got about $4 million, quickly folds his hand. Jason Burt, the 23-year-old out of Newport, also I'm all in. And here goes Sean Kunix. He's gone all in with a junk hand, just 5-4. Well, he's on the short stack, but still enough to put a little pressure on his opponent. Need us out. Lavalie, the chip leader. What will he do? He's got a king deuce, but he's mucking. And we're around to the big blind now. Craig's got the king eight of clubs. Yeah, he's considering this. 600 something. Yeah, it's going to cost him 625,000 more to make the call. That's a little steep for a king eight. He's opted to lay it down. So good timing there for Sean to move all in and pick up that pot. Yep. Nice little comeback for Sean. Taking it down with just a four five. Back on the comeback trail. Yeah, there you go. You lose a pot when you flop three sixes. You win one when you got just five high. Okay, so right now,
Tommy Vitas, the new chip leader, with about 4.2. Jason Lavalier with about 4.1, as is Freddie Deeb. Let's go to the fell Jason Lavalier this time with a queen eight. Quickly folds his hand. Back to Craig Cravello. And he won't play that. Freddie Deeb. He's got the lovely ladies, Vance. He's definitely playing this one. Had him early on. Won a pot with Queens. Gets him again. He's going to pop it up to 325,000 to go. Jason out. Sean Kunick's not playing. So Tommy Vita's picking up Ace King, though. Yep, he's got big slick, as we say. We could see a big pot right here. All the money going in pre flop. But no, Tommy's ops just call with the ace king. Wants to see a flop before he commits any more chips. Had he raised it, I believe would have got all the money in between these two guys, but that wasn't the case. And it's come 10 high. Freddie Deeb out in front with the two queens. Yeah, no help for Tommy Vitas. Tommy checks an ace king. Freddie chewing that gum pretty quick. Fires out 400,000. Yep. Does the speed of him chewing that gum, Vince, have any indication of the strength of his hand or not? I don't know for sure, but he gets the call. Oh, and a queen comes off on the turn. Better and better for him. Freddie now has top set, as we say. Tommy, of course, could catch a jack and make an ace high straight to win this pot, but not going to draw in it for free because Freddie's coming out firing 600,000. He is hoping this guy makes some kind of play on this pot right now. He's got top set. You're saying, please raise me. Please, please, please raise it. Will he get what he wants? Doubtful. Nope, Tommy's going to give it up. So Freddie Deep takes down that pot and once again recaptures the chip lead. Going after his third WPT title, his fifth time at a final table of the World Poker Tour. Will he be successful here tonight? We will see. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. The WPT Global Winter Festival is back. Over 180 events and over 4 million in guarantees. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below, sign up with bonus code YT19, and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. And right now, Jason Lava Lee is a chip leader with about 4.7 million in chips. The action's on him. He's got 8-6 this time. He won't play. Now Craig Cravillo with a 7-5. He also goes out. Freddie going away. And now Jason Burt. Very tight. He's got King Queen this time. Well, I guarantee he's going to play this one on the button. All in. Yep, he's gone all in. Sean Phoenix out. Now Tommy goes out as well. Lays down the ace high. So a nice all-in bet there by the 22-year-old, and he picks up the pot. He's the youngest player at the table, graduate of Caltech, majored in mechanical engineering. Yeah, full-time poker player, first time in a WPT event. Well, very impressive when you make a WPT final table the first time you play in a WPT tournament. Can't do better than that. All right, to the felt we go again. Freddie Deep, very patient, folds an ace four. Back around to Jason Burt. He goes out. I'm all in. Round to the short stack. Sean Kunix, the entrepreneur from Columbus, he moves all in with the 8-6 suited here. His wife, Chris, rooting him on. I got a little over 500,000 left. Blinds are 50 and 100,000. Kind of hand you have to move in with. Now, Tommy Vitas, though, has a pair of fours and the button, and he mucks it quickly. No surprise at that. I have a layout. How much is it? Oh, but look at this. Craig Cravillo saying how much. 
man. They definitely got to call it here with an ace queen. You're not going to lay this hand down. Yep, he makes the call. He does make the call. It is showdown time. So the entrepreneur from Columbus, Ohio, Sean Kunix, an hearts. underdog to stay alive, but let's see if he can get lucky. Good luck, Sean. Thank you. Yep, Sean Kunix from Ohio, the entrepreneur on the ropes right now. <laughs> Sweat it back here. Well, he's always happy, though. Good nature, for sure. Optimistic. Here come the first three, Mike. Oh, it's come king, 10, six, all diamonds. He's got the sixes. Oh, yeah, I'm up right now, but if a diamond comes or a jack. <laughs> oh, my God. He has made a pair of sixes, but his opponent has a lot of out. Yeah. Wow, who's, who's the favorite? An ace, a queen, a jack, or a diamond <laughs> will all win the pot for him. This Craig's family. <laughs> well, everybody holding their breath. The three of hearts comes up on the turn. Wow. So far, so good for Sean. Come on! Sean's still on the front. Yeah! <laughs> One card to go here. Let's see if he can hold him off. Black He's got to dodge an ace, a queen, a jack, Black or jack. a diamond. His dream of becoming a WPT champion. All the line, but no. it's a diamond. Jack of diamonds comes off. Craig Cravillo is going to make an ace high flush to win this pot and eliminate Sean Kunix from this tournament. That's all right. That's going to do it for the Buckeye out tonight in sixth place. Yep. They'll take on close to 170,000. A big sport there. A big effort. Good luck, everybody. And just like that, five players remain at the Festa El Lago in Las Vegas. We'll come back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Let's go to the table. On Craig Cravillo, he folds. Yeah, Freddie also folding, and now Jason Burt with a 10-6. Yeah. Won't play that. So we got the battle of the blinds here. Tommy Vitas looks down at Ace Deuce of Diamonds. 300. He's going to raise it to 300,000. Yeah, put a little pressure on the chip leader Lava Lee, who has a four-five of diamonds. Notice he hasn't played these two connectors at this final table, but here he's in position. He's got the chip lead. He is going to make the call. So ace, deuce of diamonds up against four, five of diamonds. Well, here comes the flop. Now flop comes queen, five, deuce. Tommy has flopped bottom pair and checks. Jason has flopped middle pair. And he also checks. Conservative play on the flop, a three comes off. Tommy again checks. Now Jason also has an open in straight throw to go along with his second pair. Thus, he is going to bet 375,000. Well, he's got the best hand and the best draw. Tommy with the pair of deuces and a straight draw. And that's what he's saying is the guy didn't bet on the flop. Did the three really help this guy? Maybe he's got something like a Jack Tanner who's just making a move at this spot. I'm going to call him with the two deuces. All right, down to the river. Who's going to get lucky? Well, the queen comes off. Helps the either player again. Tommy Vitas checking. That's right. Two pair. That's fun. Deuce. He's just going to turn up his card. He's going to win this pot with queens and fives. So the rich get richer. Chip leader extends his chip lead by a little bit. Jason Lavallee. I like it. Tonight we're playing for the winner, taking home over 1.2 million. Massive prize pool. And there, of course, Freddie Deeb going after his third WPT title. Freddie picks up a nice hand. He's got ace queen. He's going to raise it. Makes it 400,000 to go. Next to act, Jason Burt. He's got ace jack of spades. Well, Jason's been the most conservative player at this table. I'm all in. He's got a pretty decent hand. He's going all in. Sure, is Tommy beat us out. Jason also out more? as is Craig Trevillo. One point one. Nice ball. And Freddie making the right call. He's going to love this. Yeah. He's going to love it because he has his opponent dominated. It's ace queen versus ace jack. Freddie about a three to one favorite to win this pot and eliminate Jason Burt from this tournament. Yeah, trouble lurking for Jason Burt, the graduate out of Caltech. Full time poker player, first WPT event in a lot of trouble right now. Well, everybody on their feet. Here comes the flop. Well, it comes king, queen, four. Freddie has flopped a pair of queens. Jason, however, can catch a 10 and make an ace high straight to win this pot. Two running spades would do it as well. Got some hope. Would he dare do that to the great Freddie Deeb? 
two cards to come here's fourth street well nine of diamonds comes off so we are down to the river card the 22 year old must catch a 10 on the river to stay alive in this tournament otherwise he'd be out in fifth place he continues to smile can he get lucky nope eight of spades comes on the river so that's going to do it for the mechanical engineering major a graduate of Caltech, Jason Bird is going to be out in fifth place. And Vince, he can go get his compass and head back to the drawing board. Yeah, well, he's going to pick up 208,000. And they see Freddie Deep.